Uh, good morning, everybody. I uh, recently I heard a story that one of my friends told me, who is a professional musician, uh, he plays a string instrument, that he went to the studio to record um, for, uh, he wasn't told what the group was, but he was told that he was going to show up and play the music that he got when he got there. So he shows up and there's about 60 other string players, and so he sits down, they're all ready, and this rapper guy comes in and he says, Hey man, when I say, when I point at you, you guys play. And he didn't give him any music, he didn't tell him a key, he didn't tell him anything. <laughs> so the music's going, and then he's like, yeah, and then he points at him, and they, you know, say, like, what? Because they don't know what they don't know what to do. And so um, I think this kind of shows where music has gone. <laughs> you know, the last, you know, you know, 100 years or so. So my quote that I chose was, if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into a ditch. <laughs> so, um, I think today I'm going to talk to you guys about the evolution of music throughout the years and how we have metaphorically fallen into a ditch, I believe, in music. So, I'm like one of the best times in music for me personally was I, jazz music because it was still like people playing instruments, people like knowing how to play instruments knowing how to read music and being able to play it well. And I really like the guy, but I think what kind of started this downfall was Elvis Presley. I know that most of you guys really like him, but he was, he was a performer, not necessarily a very good musician. He could play like three chords on a guitar, and he has probably one of the most um, like um, impersonationable voices of all time, so I mean, if so many people can impersonate Elvis, I don't know what really sets him apart from everything else. And he didn't write any of his own music. All his songs were written for him. So I believe that's kind of the tipping point of where things started rolling downhill for music. It no longer became about the music, but it became about like how good somebody looks playing music and how catchy tunes are, which is, I think is sad, but so, moving down, I mean, the Beatles, very good musicians, but they got a hold of, like, fame, and they messed with it. Like, they, they're like, oh, we're famous now, we're not gonna stop, like, writing good songs, and they wrote the song, Let's Just Do It In The Road, where they just said, let's do it in the road for about five minutes, and that was their song, and people bought it, and people liked it, because they were the Beatles, and so, again, the blind leading the blind. <laughs> and so I think it's progressing even further now into, I hate to say like rap music, but that's just people like reading poetry over a synthetic beat, which is kind of music, but not really music. So I think in conclusion, maybe we should like really listen to like music and think about what music is. Thank you. How do you feel about Michael Jackson? He doesn't, he doesn't fall into that category at all, right? All right, Kelly, uh, I think you have a great story to get started with, and you do a good job coming up with a way to interpret the quote and make it work uh, for the speech. That's, that's excellent. 
Uh, you have good ideas to talk about also. It starts kind of chronologically, and that's the way you're developing it, but there's no preview of how you're going to be talking about it, so it just seems like you just start talking and you're just following the stream of consciousness of examples or ideas, and that's okay uh, you know, afterwards, but I think, like I said, if you have that plan ahead of time, uh, it, would, it would flow a little bit easier for the audience. Uh, you had good examples that you pointed out, and you described the things that you were talking about pretty well. Uh, you did a nice job uh, expressing them visually uh, with uh, your facial expressions and your voice. I thought that it was very effective. There's good variety in your voice when you're talking to us about things. Uh, your eye contact is excellent. Uh, the only thing that I thought was problematic at all was that it seemed like there was a little anxiety in your foot movement in the first minute or so of your speech. But once you started talking about the particular kinds of musicians and everything, you seemed so much more relaxed and confident in what you were doing. You're, you're, you're poised and standing there and just, you know, very forceful there. So it, you know, I, I mention it only because I noticed it. Maybe you'll notice it when you watch your video back too. Um, and I thought you had a good exit line at the end of the speech as well. Thank you. Alexandra. Yep. You sure you want that one? <laughs> 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 That's not nice. 